Welcome back, our Saturday chef, the lovely Ned Bell in the house. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Uh, Happy to be here. From you, Restaurant Four Seasons, and representing Winset Farms with a whole bunch of fresh Winset vegetables for us. This right, morning. I am. You know, this time of year, everything starts to come fresh into mm -hmm. our farmers markets and into our grocery stores. And Winset, you know, the great thing about Winset is the the produce is perfect always. And so this type of soup is um, is basically it's like it's like almost drinking a salsa. It's incredibly fresh, mm. nutrient dense, plant based. Um, tomatoes, roasted peppers, cucumber. Of course, Winset is famous for their tomatoes and their different varieties of those and different varieties varieties of peppers and and cucumbers, and so I decided to kind of take a fairly simple soup and make it a little bit luxury. But mm. of course, the great thing about this recipe, which is on your website, is that all of my recipes are really versatile. So if you wanted to make it uh, a little bit simpler, you don't have to necessarily add lobster. We're doing a tomato gazpacho, which is a chilled soup. Um, with Very traditional Italian, right? Well, traditional, traditional warm weather countries have cold soups. Okay. So Mexican, Spanish, um, that sort of, those sort of climates, they like to have spicy and chilled. So what I have is some roasted maestro peppers. These are red. The whole theme of today is red. So you could, of course, do this yellow if you wish, because we have yellow peppers. We also have yellow, tomatoes. Um, yellow tomatoes. Um, so roasted uh, maestro yellow peppers, seeds out, peeled um, into our uh, Vitamix. This is, you know, you probably, if you watch me on on Saturday chefs, you know that I love a really good high quality blender. <laughs> so uh, about two cups of the, uh, of the peppers. We've got some cucumber. These are fresco cucumbers, the normal size. You could uh, seed them or peel them. In this case, we're just going to add them in uh, chopped like so. Then we have some uh, Allegro tomatoes. These are a little bit smaller, quite sweet. The skins are very delicate. Um, again, the ratios are are in the in the recipe on the recipe, a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Very Bals careful measuring going on. Can't here. you tell? I'm just very. That's the that's the eight glug method there. I added some salt at the beginning, and then we just go into our blender, like so. We're going to let it go a little bit here on lower speed, wow. just to get it kind of going. <laughs> All right, done. That's an awesome blender. Isn't it fantastic? Yeah. And the cool thing is you start it slow and you bring it up and there's no spills, no messes. Um, if you think about this, it's kind of like a vegetable smoothie, right? So whenever you make a smoothie, you can kind of add things to it, right? Take mm -hmm. away, add whatever. If you really liked it spicy, you could add some, uh, some spicy love. How much time? OK, we got great time here. So yeah, lots of time. now. This time of year, fresh seafood starts with halibut, then into spot prawns, then into salmon. This mm -hmm. would be a great kind of base with a piece of any of those grilled fish on top of your soup. Or fresh fruits, stone fruits, um, strawberries in season right now. Strawberries love balsamic vinegar, which I added in there. Stone fruits from the Okanagan or some of the great fruits from the Fraser Valley. Um, cherries. So what we're going to do is put our blender away. And oops, sorry, wrong bowl. We're gonna pour. Oh, it's a thick soup. Yeah, it's it, there, it's got real substance to it, which I love because it's kind of hearty, you know, in it in its own way. Oops, um, sorry. It's all right. Then we're going to take some concerto tomatoes mm -hmm. from Winset. We're going to take equal amounts cherries, fresh cherries, concerto tomatoes, a little bit of salt, some pepper, like so. And this is just a fresh fruit, vegetable, salsa. You could add anything in here that you want. Some extra virgin olive, olive oil. This is a Dominica Fiore olive oil. It's just outstanding Beautiful. stuff. Beautiful. And then some, a little more of the balsamic vinegar. And then we have our lobster. Now, <laughs> he's going to step I know, away. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm pretty good at making uh, space for myself. So fresh cooked lobster, of course, you can buy these cooked at, uh, at some of your fish um, mongers uh, or fish markets and then um, take just the tail off because we're we're all about luxury here today Lynn we only want the tail the good stuff the good stuff right so to crack a lobster tail just like so mm. pop the tail out just like so there we go 
Now I know you're all about sustainability with seafood. Uh, where is this guy from? Right. So this is uh, some Nova Scotia lobster from my buddy Fabian Bates. Him and his father catch this uh, or trap this lobster. Think about this lobster is sustainable. So they've weighted the lines of their um, of their lobster traps so mm -hmm. that, that we don't catch any bycatch. And that's what makes this lobster sustainable. Okay. So. A little bit of olive oil on top. A little bit of olive oil. The olive oil adds some richness, right? You've got tons of vegetable uh, flavors in here, so you want to add a bunch more richness. And then we're going to add some, look at that. Doesn't that just look That's delicious. incredible? Don't hide the lobster. Don't hide the prize, like so. And then we're just going to break some green onions. I like to just kind of break these because they they don't have that that bruising to them. I'm gonna try this while you Please do. That. do. Mm. Is it Ooh, good? it's delicious. Isn't it good? Mm -hmm. So you know you could add a, a great glass of wine with this, some Okanagan wines, or some you know a shot of tequila, or you could even add some <laughs> you could add some vodka in here. You could add hand pecked crab, some uh, some baby shrimp, depending on where you're where you're at in our mm -hmm. province. And it's basically a meal in a bowl, individual Beautiful. family style. Mm, it's delicious. Simple. Thank you so much, Ned. Um, as always, our recipe is available on our website, globalnews.ca slash bc. Look for weekend news under the watch tab. Then you'll find all of our Saturday chef's recipes, including this delicious one for lobster gazpacho. Yeah, meal in a bowl. I love it. All right. Thank you. Chanel, I have lunch.